Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to look at oil analysis from different perspective, from a fundamental perspective, from a technical perspective as well, and uh, what is happening because this is not clear at all where the price is right now. So as you can see from the chart, everything started in uh, November, December 2021 with the Europe energy crisis. It was very strange that uh, one beautiful day they announced that we don't have gas and oil reserves. It was very, very strange because uh, suddenly they understood that the, the tank was empty and they had to fill it. It was very strange at that moment how it was, uh, how this news was released. However, after two months, we saw that the war between Ukraine and Russia began. It was also pushed by the US and later they didn't take part in this war. They were not supported also from uh, the other countries. And what we saw was that uh, the tension was getting higher here during that moment. And later the oil price increased suddenly up to 129.4 approximately. So this is the all time high price that we have on oil and despite the fact that the price increased in this way it came down in only seven days at this point here that is dating back in March 2022 and only for one month we saw all the major economies to suffer from the high inflation it was very strange because from a normal inflation that began with the energy crisis, within one or two months, we saw the inflation to increase in a crazy, crazy way. And all the major economies were blaming only Russia for uh, the high oil price. However, despite the fact that the price came down, we didn't see anything interesting. And in July 2022, when the inflation reached its peak, that was dating back 40 years ago, it was very strange that uh, the price of oil was close to the beginning of the war between Ukraine and Russia. And in only two months, this is dating back at the end of uh, September, in three months, let's say, the price reached 76.26, let's say uh, 77 it doesn't matter but this is uh, dating back before the war it was a price level that we have seen also before also in october 2021 also before the energy crisis and uh, the strange fact here is that the economies didn't improve inflation in the same way how it was reported before so why this inflation here didn't decrease in the same way that it was increased so we are uh, we are taking in consideration uh, that probably we have other deals and other problems in this moment of time here however all the countries were blaming russia about the high uh, the high oil prices related with the imported inflation from the high oil prices everything was very strange however we saw PEC to do uh, everything possible in order to decrease the oil price so they uh, increased the oil supply several times it was strange that uh, the, the oil on the market was very very cheap it reached also the levels that were lower than before but on the other hand the inflation was not getting better at all so this is a very strange topic if we are going to look at uh, oil price in this way and the impact that it was doing in the economies however at the end of the june 2023 the price was in this level close to uh, 67 68 we saw OPEC to come out one beautiful day again and they said that we want to decrease the oil supply now and we want to increase the inflation again, according to this topic. So they came out several times within a period of time of two months. And now we can see the price that already reached $95 per barrel here. It's very, very strange because it was OPEC 
impact that supported the economies in order to push the oil price down, and it's also a peg in this situation that is making the impossible to begin a new economy crisis. So how is it possible in this situation? And what is also very strange, in my opinion, is that only everyone is discussing about uh, the U.S. inflation alert and not the other countries. So this is very, very strange. It doesn't make sense that OPEC is, uh, is rising the oil price to $95 and probably they want this higher because it doesn't make sense to, in, to increase the inflation and to have a global economic crisis again. So this is another problem. But what I see also is a big problem is that it is not making sense the price to stay here also from a technical perspective and the fundamental perspective. So we don't have anything that is in line so far. We can say that probably the price will stop close to 97, 98, that is also close to 100 and the strong psychological level and it will move down. However, they are not in line with each other, the fundamental and technical part. And uh, what I'm really afraid about this point where the price is right now, because this is not showing uh, anything yet about the bearish move, is that the price can begin the bearish movement in the same way as we saw the bullish movement. So it can begin suddenly and it will not stop after that. This is not a normal price where it should stay here. Otherwise, we may see the US or we should have seen the US and the other countries to, uh, to take further steps about this problem that OPEC is creating. So something is happening. I don't know why, but it doesn't make sense. So it is better if we'll be careful. I don't think that the oil price will reach the top again. I think that all is done here because also from a technical perspective, we have a very dense structure here. And it makes sense that the price should stop the, the increase. However, it's very strange also the fact that uh, oil reached 95. So let's see what is going to happen. However, this is only my uh, opinion. I don't expect that you should all agree with my opinion. So let's see what is going to happen during the coming weeks and months. I hope you guys enjoyed the analysis. Please don't forget to hit the like button and follow if you like this analysis. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.